So, if you were a fan of college football 14 back in the day, NCAA 14, you probably were pretty sad when they announced that they were going to be discontinuing these games. But fear not, because NCAA 21 is here. Not really. This is a mod for NCAA 14 called College Football Revamped. And today I'm going to show you how to install it and play some NCAA 21 with, as I'll show you here in a second, the updated rosters. You can see Pitt has Rashad Weaver, Patrick Jones. You probably don't know these Pitt players. So let's go to a, a more well-known team about Alabama. As you can see, Devontae Smith, Mac Jones, Najee Harris, Landon Dickerson, all these guys. It's got the updated rosters. You can play it in Dynasty. You can play it in Road to Glory. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is install this Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable file. Basically, a lot of games require files like this to be able to actually play the game. So I already have it installed. So that's why it says modify setup, repair, uninstall, close. But you're just going to install it. It should tell you once you're done to restart your computer. But wait to do that until after we're all done. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to close out of that. And by the way, everything that I have here will be linked in the description except for the actual game file. Uh, if you just do some research, you can find that yourself. But due to some issues with piracy, I am not going to put it in the description. Uh, anyways, first thing, this RPCs3 zip file or RAR file, you're going to go right click it. And you're going to click extract files and you're just going to click OK. It's going to extract into a folder that'll just put it right here. And you can delete this or you can just leave it there for future endeavors but you're gonna open this and you're going to open rpcs3 the application it's gonna ask you to read the quick start guide you're just gonna click yes and do not show again and you'll continue and then you'll be visited on this screen where it's tell you update available you're gonna click no there's one specific version that this mod works on if you play on any other version of this ps3 emulator it will not work so it has to be this one specific, and again, the link will be in the description. If you update it, it will not work, so do not update it even if it tells you that it's 127 days old. So we got the emulator now. We're going to go File, Install Firmware, and we are going to find the test folder that is on my desktop, and we're going to open ps3update.pop, and this is basically going to update the emulator with a PS3 update. And once it finishes, just do not show again OK. It's going to do some things in the background. Might take a minute. But once this finishes, we'll be all set to then import the game. Before I do that, there's actually another step before this. You're going to want to go into your C drive or whatever drive you want to put your games on. And as you see here, I made a folder just, just called emulator. Put it on my C drive emulator. So this is where you're going to put the game file when you unzip it. So we're going to unzip the game first. So we're going to go find my tutorial again. And we're going to find NCAA 14. Again, find this yourself. It's not going to be linked. We're going to extract files. And we're going to do it here. And this one can also take a minute because it's a pretty big game file, like 6 gigs. So this will take a second to extract. All right. So we're getting down the stretch here and we're good. So now we have a folder that's called NCAA 14 USA. So a weird thing this does when this extracts is it's actually going to put the game folder inside of this folder. So we have NCAA 14 USA, and then we have the actual game folder. And there's a little text document with the, name, the place I got it from if you were stuck. So basically, we have a folder in a folder. With this, it's actually going to make it so the game will not work, or at least the mod won't be able to work. So we're going to need to copy the game that's inside the NCAA 14 folder, so the one that has the PS3 game and the SFB. And then just paste it out here. So this will paste in. Give it a second. And now, as you can see, we can just delete this. And now we have just this folder and the PS3 game and the SFB. So now is where we're going to go to the emulator folder that you made and copy it and paste it. And it's going to do this whole thing again. Let's give it just a quick little second. And once this finishes the copy, any second now, there we go. Now it's in the emulator folder. We can go 
to the emulator and file add games and from the emulator folder on wherever you put it to click in NCAA 14 and click on PS3 game once select folder and now NCAA 14 is there so we're gonna have to run this once before we add the mods in but before we do that we're gonna go into the config and just make sure config settings are correct so for CPU settings, you can basically just keep that all the same. There, there's really nothing here you have to change. If you change anything, it'd be lower SPU thread priority. Uh, this just makes it so it, a little easier on your CPU. And there are times that you can get maybe crackling or audio bugs. And that should do a decent job of suppressing those. So that's going to be the only thing that you need to change if you have those problems. GPU. Uh, you just keep it on Vulkan, your graphics card 16.9, auto auto, frame limit off, all that the same. Default resolution keep at 1287.20, but resolution scale, you can turn to whatever resolution you play on. So I'm going to turn it to 1920 by 1080. If you want to play in 4K or 1440 or 4K, you can turn it up to whatever you would like, but I'm going to keep it on 150%. Keep resolution scale. Shader mode turn to legacy if you have problems with a black field there's a chance that you can get a black field glitch and if you get that while at async turn it to legacy and it'll fix that and that's it for gpu audio io you don't really need to mess with any of this so we can just apply and save and then go to pads and this is where you're going to put in whatever input you're using so currently i have an xbox controller in my lap but i like to use uh, dualshock 4 but for now i have an xbox controller so we'll just click x input and save and we're all good to go now. We can run the game. So we'll just boot it real quick. It's going to take a minute or two to get all the PPUs and, and all that jazz loaded. And once the game does launch, let it go through its whole title sequence into the main menu. And then you can close it out and we'll move on. Okay, so now the game's going to be launching. As you can see here, the PPU modules finished doing their thing, compiling. So now... The game's open. I'll go ahead and put it in a quick full screen here. And so we'll just hit X. EA Sports. It's, going it's in to the game. Very loud. When you go into my... I'll definitely turn this down when I edit. But here you see, this is the classic NCAA football menu. Alright, so I turned the game down, but you can see here, it's NCAA 14, and it's the the old look, so we'll just do Alabama, fuck it. But you can see, it's it's the complete old look, it looked different from the one I showed at the start, but you can see it's it's all good, you can play the game now if you want, but we gotta actually add the mod, because it's really the only way to play it in 2021, so we're gonna close out, just Alt F4, and exit the game. So now we're good to go, close out of my volume mixer, because the game is really loud, so now we can actually add the mods. But before we actually add the mods, we're going to need to do something to <clears throat> this file we put in the emulator. So we're going to need to take this, we'll open up a completely different folder that I go to my desktop and we go to tutorial and we go to RPCS3, the folder that you installed this in, and you go to dev underscore HDD0, go to disk, there'll be nothing in here. But this is where you put in NCAA Football 14 from the emulator folder specifically. So just drag it into the disk folder from dev hdd0. And now we need to rename it something very specific. And I need to cut real quick because I actually need to find what it is again. Okay, so this is what you're going to need to rename this folder. So we go to rename and we just paste it this. BLUS 31159 dash bracket NCAA space football space 14 close bracket. That has to be the exact, exact name of this folder for this mod to actually work. So now you can just close out of that and we can close out of the emulator folder. It's going to be empty now, but we just needed it uh, as a little buffer between the extraction and ending up putting it in that folder there. To actually get the mods, we're going to have to just look up College Football Arena PC mod, and we're going to scroll down to the github.com where it says CFB revamped CFBR easy installer PS3 release. 
And again, here it's going to say V12. So for you guys, again, I'm doing V11. But for you guys that are going to be downloading V12, you're going to click on PC because that's what we're playing on. We're going to select physical disk copy, whatever controller buttons you want. In this case, right now, again, I have an Xbox controller, but it doesn't really matter. This is just going to be the buttons that display on screen whenever you're playing the game. So whatever controller you're using is what you'll download. So I'll just click on PlayStation and then it's going to give you the instructions. Of course, we've already really done this. Uh, I went through all of these kind of things here. Uh, so you're just going to click PC disk and you're going to install that. So now we can actually put the mods in. So I have them on my desktop here. This is the version 11 mod. Actually, today, as I'm recording this on Saturday, June 19th, version 12 just came out. So um, that can be the one that you go download instead of 11. But because my version 12 is still downloading currently, um, I'm just going to be using version 11 for this tutorial. So version 11 has two parts. Version 12, which you should download, has only one part. It'll be six gigs long and it's a media fire link. So it could take quite a long time. So you might be sitting here for an hour or two. Mine's still going. And also the game as well. If you download the game, uh, should take a couple of hours. So it's a long process, but it's definitely worth it. So anyways, we're going to just drag these two files in. It's going to give us a thing here of what order to install them. Part A first, part B second. We'll install. And it will install these package files. And I'll be back in a second to see if it worked. If it did work, we should see this NCAA Football 14 logo here change. And as you can see, successfully installed software from packages will not show again. And we see that the logo changed to CFB revamped. And the version here changed to 1.02, which previously said it needed to update. So now we're all done. We can just boot. And as you can see here, again, when the PPU modules finish, we will see Trevor Lawrence and a nice little kind of intro video that was completely different from the first time we launched NCAA 14. So I'll be back once these PPU modules finish compiling. All right, so another couple percentages here, 99 and 100, and there we go. So now we're going to see the game start to open again. And as you can see, there it is. First launch, it's definitely going to be a little slow, and you're going to hear some of these kind of audio glitches. But as you can see, here's the kind of introduction that um, the College Football Revamp mod gives you when you first launch with some copywritten Juice World music as the intro. And there you see College Football Revamped, so that's how you know it works. First, check for, of course, this. If it doesn't show this logo, then you did something wrong. And you might just have to go all the way through and restart. But there you go, College Football Revamped. We'll start. And we'll full screen. And as you can see, just so you just so you know that it definitely is real and working. I'm gonna go find Pit. And Pit has the Steel City jerseys, if it will load. They've got right here the Steel City jerseys that they debuted last year during the 2020 season. So that's how you know it's legit. Updated jerseys, updated rosters, updated everything. And that's it. That's how you install NCAA 14 with the college football revamped mod on PC. And now you can go and start your dynasty, start your road to glory or do whatever. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And it worked out. And if it didn't work out, you can go jump down in the comment section and I'll do my best if anybody comments to try and reply and help you out. It takes like maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do the first time. I've done this probably five times over at this point, so I can do it probably five minutes in my head very easily. Uh, but if you do have trouble, feel free to drop a comment and I will try and help you out in any way that I can. But other than that, I'm going to be having NCAA videos starting within the week by next weekend a week from this saturday which is today i will be posting some dynasties with pit some dynasties with a random team and and a road to glory so stick out for that i hope you enjoyed the tutorial hope it all worked out and i'll see you next time